Shalom. First and foremost, give all praise to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Hey, this is GMS Arkansas. Uh, appreciate Kyle. This is GMS Stop and Listen. Uh, I'm, I'm here on, on the grounds of uh, the state capitol here in Little Rock. You know, as you see behind me, uh, in the news, Little Rock was in the news a couple days ago with uh, erecting a Baphomet statue. The article is, uh, this article is, I got it from the time. It says a satanic temple protest a Ten Commandments monument in Arkansas with its Baphomet statue, right? And that Ten Commandments sign, uh, the Ten Commandments sign was knocked down, right? And I've, I've been riding around. It's only so far they're going to let you go. But this is the front of the Capitol, which, as you can see, the Capitol's behind me on this side. The, 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 the entrance, the front, it faces the east, man. And I'm facing, right now, I'm facing... Uh, uh, like northeast a little bit, but due east is that way, which the front of the Capitol building faces. Um, now, this picture that they showed right here of that of that uh, Baphomet statue, right? They brought it in. If you can see it, it's on a a flatbed truck, which has tie down straps, right? And when you look close, and on the other side. It's in the front of the Capitol building. It's, it's uh, the front of the Capitol building. So the statue was actually right behind me. That's where they had it at, right here. They brought it at, at this particular place, like 10 feet behind me. They brought it right here, right? Because this street is Wood Lane, which is a long street in the interstate. This is the only place a flatbed really could come. It can't come on the other side because there's no road on the other side. Right, you can have little turning ins, but it, no, no way a flatbed could get in here. So, what you seen on the internet, what you saw, they they brought it right in front of the actual building, which the Baphomet uh, statue was facing the east, man. And, and right here, you have two pillars when you walk up in front, with a bulb, a light. You have two light bulbs on these pillars, which is probably some kind of symbolism, which goes up to the capital, man. And the capital is facing the east, man. It's facing the east, right? So it's it's all it's all symbolic and, and satanic. And it says, uh, it says, the members of the satanic temple use a statue of a cold deity Baphomet to protest Ten Commandment monument in Little Rock. The eight foot tall statue, which depicts the wing half goat, half man, with two children at its side. Plus that, that deity has, uh, it says half goat, half man, but it also has breasts like a woman, man. So that, that, that deity is thrown out of vibration. Now whether they're gonna erect it right here in front, because this is where they brought it at, whether they're gonna erect it right here in the front, because I think the Ten Commandments used to be right here. But how did it get knocked down when a car can't even get up there? So it, it, it's probably somebody might have, they might have hired somebody to knock it over with a sledgehammer or something, but they usually be, they usually sit right here. So they will go, if they would erect that statue, it would be actually right here in front, right here in this little area right by the flags, man. Which that, that gives off a demonic vibration, man. You know? Um, it says, with two children on its side, was briefly installed in the front of the state capitol building on Thursday. It says briefly installed, meaning they just rolled it up on a truck. You know, they just put it, brought it in on a flatbed, and the flatbed, who knows, man, they probably uh put the legs down and the truck probably left, and they probably left it there for a while and came back and got it. Because it was right, actually right behind me. When you look on the picture, you'll see that it was in front of the Capitol building. And I'm here now, and, and the statue's not here. So they just probably brought it in, and, and probably brought the flatbed in, dropped it, and the truck probably left, and they left it here. Who knows, Esau might have been bringing it in here for some kind of demonic prayer service that they had going on in the, in the Capitol building, man. Because it's funny, I was just talking to a brother on the phone, it's funny that they, they brought that statue in uh, days prior to our Day of Atonement, man. You know, 
And Esau, Esau, hey man, he knows that, man. So it's probably something demonic, man. They brought that statue in days before our Day of Atonement. We coming up on the Day of Atonement. You know? Uh, let me read more. There's more. It says, and was briefly installed in front of the state capitol building on Thursday as a symbol of free speech and polarity of, of beliefs, man. Because you have you have demons, these demons, they don't believe in the true power you have about Shemiah was shy, man. But they have a free speech, man. When they getting ready, when they getting ready to come against us for preaching the scriptures on the streets, they saying it's a symbol of free speech. You know? That lets you know, man, the devil, man, Esau, man, who the, the devil the Bible speaks of, man, he's a liar, man. You know, the devil, man. Uh, and it says organizations told the NFP it was also meant to protest the explicitly Christian values promoted by the Ten Commandment monument on the Capitol grounds in keeping with the satanic temple temples belief that religion displays should not be placed on public property man so the, they, they saying it shouldn't be placed on pu public property they knocked the Ten Commandments down so what more the men of the Lord that's preaching on the highways and byways on these public properties, man? You're going to come against us soon. We know that, man. You know, the scripture tells us, man. In Amos 8 chapter, it's going to be a famine of the word, man. We know that y'all going to come against us like y'all did the disciples, like y'all did Paul. You know? It says, uh, we have little interest in forcing our beliefs and systems upon you as well do it in having the beliefs of others forced on us man the beliefs of others man they talking about us right there man because they know we here we here in, in little rock as well as the other states uh, uh, all over the world pushing the truth man we have a couple of camps here man you know and we we, con we constantly pushing the truth man. you know and it says uh uh we have little as little interest in forcing our beliefs and systems upon you as as we do in having beliefs of others forced upon us man satanic temple co-founder uh lucian greaves lucian greaves says during the rally thursday the N N npr reports man so i'm up on the grounds man of uh of the the, uh, the capitol building as you can see this is where Again, once again, this is where they brought that, that statue of Baphomet in on that trailer. If you could look at it, it was brought in on a trailer. And I think they dropped the trailer and then they, they just left it there for the day. Like I said, man, who knows, man? Because when you when you look out the, the doors of, of this Capitol building, you're facing the east, man. The sun, when it rises, it's rising through these pillars. It's rising through those, these, uh, uh, you know, right, it rises right over the building. It's all satanic, man. And, it's, and it's, it's in line with the uh, Simmons building, which is the tallest building in Little Rock, which is a phallus, built straight up like a phallus. So, hey, man, it's all demonic. Like I said, they're bringing it in right before the Day of Atonement. So you never know what, what prayers Esau was praying when that, when that deity was here, man, against the nation of Israel, man. It's all against Israel, man. You know? And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get some scriptures because, hey, scriptures speak against, against, uh, against that, man. Let me, uh, get this scripture. I'm going to start, if I may, the book of, um, Leviticus. Baba Kasha, man, be patient with me. Got to find scriptures. Uh, Leviticus, the fourth chapter, 19th chapter, selected the fourth verse. Turn ye not unto idols, nor make yourselves molten gods. I am the Lord, Yahweh, your power. So he say, hey, turn not into those idols, man. Don't believe in those idols, man. These idols are not your power. Your power is Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. And we speak to Israel, man, because Esau is the, is the wicked, as spoken of in Malachi. We know he's going to continue to be the wicked, man. You know, he's going to continue to be the wicked. So we speak into our people, man. 
to our people Israel, mainly to the elect, man. Mainly to the elect. And that is an idol, man. Uh, little look up that word idol. It says, good for nothing, worthless, a false gods. Good for nothing, vanity. So believing in those idols, that's not, hey, that's not the real power. And that's not gonna, gonna, uh, uh, that's believing those idols is not gonna uh, save you from the destruction that's coming. Because there's a destruction that's coming to this place of America, man. You know? And Little Rock is going to be, hey, Little Rock is, it's going to be destroyed just like the other major cities, man. Because it's a lot of wickedness that goes on in, the, in this in this state, man. This is basically one of the worst states in the union. I'm going to say that, putting it right with uh, Mississippi, man. Arkansas, Mississippi, man, these are like two of the worst states in the, in the United States, man. You know? Uh, Leviticus 26 26 and 1 It says Ye shall make No idols Nor graven images Neither rear you up Meaning A standing image And, and that Baphomet is a standing image man Not only did they rear it up They put it right in front of Facing the east man So it's some symbolic wickedness in them Bringing it in front of the Capitol building and putting it towards the east, man. It says, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it. For I am your how your power. It says, even a stone. And you people who call yourself Muslims, y'all put up, y'all erect the stone, stone of Saturn, man. That cobblestone, man, which goes back to Saturn, man. Which goes back to Satan. That black cobblestone. And what you do, you go around and you, you, you trample around that cobblestone in circles, man. Which when you look from up top, it looks like a port a porthole, man. It, it looks like a porthole is being opened for demons to come out. And what happens when when you um, when that when that marching of uh, uh, um, that marching of around that cobblestone when you finish with it, guess what happens? You'll have like five to ten thousand people laying dead. It's like a sacrifice, man. So them to bring a Baphomet statue here, man, these people, it's, it's finna be a big sacrifice somewhere here. It could be, it don't matter where in Little Rock, it could be anywhere in Arkansas, man. Because that vibration is going out, man. This demonic vibration is here on this town, man. This is a demonic place, man. You know? Um, let's go to Psalms. Just different scriptures, man, dealing with it. Uh, Psalms 90, 97 and 7. Psalms 97 and 7. Confound, confounded be all they that serve graving images that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods, man. So confounded. Meaning what? To be put to shame, to put to shame, to be disconnected, to be disappointed. So whatever, whatever, uh, whatever, uh, plans and, and purposes that you, you Edomites have, man, that you're trying to push over this demonic presence, the Lord is going to confound you, man. He's going to, he's going to disappoint you. All your plans are going to be disappointed with thermonuclear destruction, man. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, man. You know, because the Lord is getting ready to bring thermonuclear destruction to this place, man. You can look at you can look at uh, all the nations, man. The sanctions being put down on different nations by America and the EU stepping in and telling other nations, don't deal. If you deal with America and these sanctions, we're gonna punish you. Hey, man, this, they, these nations are mad at America, man. You know, because they they are way past wicked, man. These people are proud, man. They put themselves up as God, man. To the point they're gonna bring a statue here, man. They're deity. They letting you know. They let you know, hey man, we, we don't deal with the God of the Bible, man. We deal with Satan, man. They brought it to the Capitol building. And in, in, in Jay or what is his name? Jay Raper is the senator that, that passed that bill to bring it here. You know? Uh Psalms. Psalms 
106. And 36. And they served idol, their idols, which were a snare unto them. And they're gonna keep serving these idols, man. Which is gonna be their trap, man. Because when that when when the Lord, hey, when the Lord's Yahweh see fit, and when it's time for Yahweh Shah to come back, man, he's gonna come back and destroy these Edomites, man. These Edomites are gonna be destroyed, man. And he's using Edom, Edom to destroy Edom. When you read in uh uh the 19th chapter, man. Of uh, Isaiah, man. I get that. He's using Edom to destroy Edom. Y'all serving it, but this is gonna be y'all death, man. Isaiah, the 19th chapter. Con, it says uh 19 and 1. It says the burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud, meaning the chariots, man. And shall come unto Egypt, right? Egypt means Egypt. When you look into the word Egypt, Egyptos, it means bondage, man. The place of bondage, right? And this is America, man. This is the place of bondage for the Israelites, man. This is this is the modern day Egypt, man. America, man. This is the modern day Egypt, man. You know, and it says, um, a swift cloud and shall come unto Egypt and the idols of Egypt, man. These are the idols. Hey man, you have idols all over, man. You have they have the winged uh the winged uh, uh lady with the I guess she holding a stick of justice with a, a with a reef in her hand. Uh you got her right here, then you got the uh, on top of the building on the other side, you got the lady holding the scales of justice, right? You got they brought the bathroom man here. They have all kind of symbolism up on top, man. Different kind of symbolisms, man. You know? When you go all out through the town, when you go downtown on uh, 9th and uh, Scott Street, where the Masonic building, they have the double-headed eagle with the swords, man. You know, which goes back to the goddess Janus, man. They have the double-headed eagles, man, down on Albert Pike. Hey, man, it's a, it's a demonic force that's here, man. And these, these different statues and different symbols and monuments are all over these different cities in the United States, man. So to let you know, man, this, this whole system is demonic, man. The whole, this, this whole old ancient Roman system is demonic, man. And it says, it says, uh, the burden of Egypt, of Egypt, behold, the Lord Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come unto Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, man. They gonna be moved, right? When you look up the word move, it says shake, thrill, stagger, move, shift, quiver, vibrate. And that's gonna, how it's gonna vibrate. That's through thermonuclear destruction. That's what's gonna shift and move this place, man. Those missiles, man. That's what's gonna shake and shift this place of America, man. It's gonna crack this place wide open. It's gonna stagger to and fro like a drunkard, man. And it says, at the presence and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it, man. It says it's going to melt, man. How is it going to melt? With fervent heat. That thousand degree heat, man. A million degree heat. That's what's going to melt this place. It's going to melt all the elements there, uh, therein, man. If you look, this building is made up of elements, man. Everything around it. Everything I see. Even the people. They're going to be burned, man. And it says... Verse 2, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Now this is the time of Isaiah, man. Egypt was already Egypt was already done. So this Egypt against Egypt, man, he's talking about you Edomites, man. And that's how the Lord is going to destroy this place using you Edomites versus you Edomites, man. You know? Trump against uh uh, uh what's the Russian president name? Uh Putin, man. You know? And it says and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. And that's how it's going to be destroyed, man. By thermonuclear destruction. Because Esau is, Esau is ruling everything. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And Esau is ruling. So Esau has a capability. He has these nuclear capabilities. And also these other countries such as Iran and China and North Korea and Pakistan. They, they've grown to have these nuclear capabilities. They've turned their plowshares and their pruning hooks and to weaponry, man. You know, they're gonna use it. It's not just gonna sit 
there and collect dust back. They're gonna use these, these uh, thermonuclear missiles back. That's, that's how the Lord is gonna plead with the people. Uh, Book of Isaiah. Eight, two and eight, because I was saying that uh, basically these statues and everything—they're all over the whole, uh, all over the United States, man. It says Isaiah two and eight. Their land also is full of idols, man. So the land of America is full of idols. They have idols all over America, man. In every major city, in every small city, is always some kind of idol there, man. You know, just keeping that wicked vibration going. You know, keeping their wicked vibration going. They they worship the work of their own hands that which their own fingers have made, man. So they going those statues like Baphomet, it wasn't created by the most high, man. It was created by man's hands, which the most high ultimately made the man. He put the spirit on them to create it for their own destruction. But those images, those images are made by hand, man. You know? They're worshiping the creature rather than the creator, man. You know? Uh, let's try uh, 45. Go to 45th chapter. In the 16th verse. And it says... They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them, that go to that go to confusion together, that are makers of idols, man. So the ones that make these idols, man, the Lord said they're gonna be ashamed, man. You know, they're gonna be put to shame, man. They're gonna be disappointed that that their their whole plans, their their plans, the evil plans they have to bring these idols. Or whatever uh basically uh uh vibration they're trying to put out over the people which we know is ultimately to bring in the rfid chip all right and to control have total control of the people this is not going to work man it's not going to work you know it says they shall be ashamed and also confounded all of them man all you edomites man everywhere that you erected these statues man these idols right you're gonna be confounded the lord gonna put you to shame in the end and your end is gonna be death man by thermonuclear destruction and you and you and you top elites the scripture tell you that you are going to be uh, uh you top elites y'all are gonna be basically uh brought into chains man you know and i can get that because you are you are the head of it man let me get that scripture. Psalms 140, uh, Psalms 149. Psalms 149 and six, it says, let the high praises of the most high be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen, man. And that says to execute vengeance upon the heathen, man. You know? And it says, and punishments upon the people. So a really, a literal two-edged sword is going to be in our hand, man. It says to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, man. Damn, Edomite, he just come over here. He part, he going to come over here and stand right here. As soon as I said, the execute vengeance on the heathen, he took off, man. Fuck it, man, these motherfuckers. And I ain't never seen so many damn Jakes at the Capitol building, man. They just coming around. Before I started, hey, uh, what that picture that 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 Balfour man at? You know, it's, it's I've been seeing all kinds of since I've been here before I even started. You got Jake just riding around. You know, it says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. So you elites, man, you Rockefellers, you Duponts, you Gettys, you Warburg, you Offenheimers, man. You are the head, you are the lead of all these, these idols being put up. These these vibrations that you put out to keep you, keep the people minds uh, confused, man, and you being ruler over these people, man. You're the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. 
so when 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 the Lord destroys America and you and you're gonna make it out of this destruction, we're gonna come back and bind you with chains, man. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have I all his saints. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know? The, we're going to, the, the judgment written in the scriptures, man. And them judgments written is to put you in slavery, man. Put you in captivity. And you're going to be forced to work a thousand years, man. And I don't know how y'all going to make it, man. You know? Right now you're ruling and, and woe to you the, 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 the unrighteous decrees, man. Describe the unrighteous decrees. Which these unrighteous decrees are prescribed right here in the, in, in the Capitol building. This is where they make all the laws to, 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 uh, to, to keep you Israelites, man, in subjection, man. Right, right here in this building, right behind me, man. You know? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 50 and 2. It says, Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say, Babylon is taken bow and is confounded. Moradak is broken in pieces and her idols are confounded. Her images are broken into pieces, man. And that's what's going to happen when the Lord comes back, man. All your idols are going to be broken into pieces, man. It's going to be shattered, man. This is not going to be forever, man. Your rulership, man, you're, you're actually... Uh, you on borrowed time, Esau. One day of the Lord is a, a, a thousand years of our time, and the Lord is not gonna let you rule no full day. You rule a little bit past a half day, and your time is up, man. You're on borrowed time, so any day now, this thing could just this thing could be set off, man. And we hasten that, we hasten that, man. Did it, did it, did it. We hasten it like we hoping it was yesterday. It says, uh, I go to the book of Ezekiel, uh, six, start at four. It says, and your altar shall be desolate and your images shall be broken down and I will cast your slain men before your idols, man. So the Lord going to kill you Edomites, man. The same idols that you erected and you put up and a lot of you have them in your homes. The Lord is going, is going to destroy you right along with those idols, man. And I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols, man. Because Israel, our two-thirds of our own people, believe in, in, in this devil, man. They right along with, with, with Esau, man. The scripture tell you, though hand join in hand in Proverbs 11 chapter, the wicked shall not go up on, on punishment. And two-thirds of our own people, you're going to die right with Esau, man. And these idols, man. Y'all gonna die right with them. Because a lot of you, you jakes, man, you into that masonry, man. And masonry is devil worship, man. And it's a lot of our people into that. And you gonna die right with them, man. You laying in the bed with this devil, man. You know, you rubbing feet with the devil. And you gonna die right with the devil. And it says, and I will scatter your bones round about your altars and all your dwelling places, the cities shall be laid waste. And the high places shall be desolate, that your altars may be laid waste and made desolate, and your idols may be broken and cease, and your images may be cut down, and your works may be abolished, man. Meaning wiped out, blotted out, man. Obliterated, man. You know, erased. You know, destroyed. Utterly wiped out, man. And this is the scriptures, man. This is the word of the Heavenly Father, man. So we know the men of the Lord know that this is not going to go on forever, man. But you have a lot of our people, you you, you, you hoping that, that the destruction of America is, is not uh, uh, coming, man. You want to live on, man. You like being in subjection, man. Because you don't have a ruling class mentality, man. It's only two mentalities on this planet. You either going to have the mentality of a king or a slave, man. Two-thirds of our own people have that mentality of a slave, man. It's only a fear of us that's thinking on a, a, a kingly mind state. And if you think of on a kingly mind state, uh, a, oppression gonna make you a wise man mad, man. We wanna get out of this place, man. It's Ecclesiastes 7 7, man. We come off rough because, hey, man, we're oppressed, man, and we know it. 
when you have that kingly mind state, you know that something ain't right, man. And it says, and the slain shall fall in the midst of you, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. And you're gonna know that the Lord Yahweh done it, man. Because when thermonuclear destruction come, hey, you're gonna know that the Lord done it. You know? When, when you have certain uh, natural disasters that happen, they say, oh man, that's the hands of God. When certain tornadoes and hurricanes come through. But he gonna have a, a, a whirlwind that's gonna come through that's gonna be a million times worse than a, a, a F5, man. On the F6 tornado, man. He gonna have he gonna have a whirlwind that's, that's gonna come through. Hey, man, it's gonna leave this place parched like a desert when you read in Zephaniah, the second chapter, man. It's gonna be a parched desert, man. You know, if I'm sounding like I'm I'm angry and I'm rough, man. But hey, man, we got to get out of this fucking place, man. These devils, man, hey, they making moves, man. They making demonic moves, man, to try to, to kill Israel, man. And the prophets, man, we part of Israel, man. You know, we are we are the uh, uh, future leaders of Israel, Lord willing. We see what's going on, man, and they don't and they don't make you mad, man. Then the Lord need to kill you, man. Death is is is, is needed for you, man. You know. Uh, Ezekiel. Let me go into fourteen. It's plenty of scriptures on idols, man. I'm just getting a few, man. Uh, Ezekiel 14 and 3 Son of man These men have set up their idols In their heart And put the stumbling block of iniquity Before their face Right Should I be inquired of it of uh, at, at all By them Meaning what Acquire meaning what Investigate man and That's why the spirit of the Lord Had me come here today To investigate man because just Friday I saw I saw the video the brothers did videos and they and they had a, 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 a basically a, a big old statue man I'm like damn so the spirit of the Lord had me to inquire man they, they set these idols up in our face man so that's why I'm here when you go into inquiry it goes into investigate so I had to get in my car the spirit led me to get in the car ride across the bridge man and come check it out to see if the statues up man so now I know they rolled it in on a trailer and they put it up and then they, they took it out, man. And this word was that right here behind me. In this particular spot you see right behind me, man. That's where it was. You can look at the layout of the building on the camera behind me. If you look back at that picture, you're gonna see that same Capitol building, and right to the left of what you see, uh, or to the right, that little that little piece of building that's sticking out opposite of those trees, and that little flag beam, you'll see it on that picture of Baphomet. So that, that truck was right here, man. So I had to inquire, be inquired of, I had to come in, which you go into, it means investigate. So the spirit had me come over here to investigate, man. Check it out, man. And, that, and, and that's what we do. We, we are the uh, uh, watchmen. When you read in Habakkuk, the second chapter, when you read in uh, Ezekiel, the third chapter, we are those watchmen, man. You know, the watchman watches for the enemy. So I feel like it was my just due to come investigate and check it out, man. You know? Uh, I'm gonna read one more. It's plenty more, but I'm gonna read one, two more. Ezekiel 22. It says, Ezekiel 22 and four, thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed and hast defiled thyself in thine idols which thou hast made and thou hast cast thy days to draw near and thou art come even unto the years therefore I have made thee a reproach unto unto the heathen and a mocking to all the countries man and this is our people joining hand in hand with Esau man they are uh, they are reproach to all the nations and Esau you have become a reproach to the other nations too the other nations are mad at you you know they're mad at you and they're come they're getting ready to come against you man and joel man prepare war man wake up the mighty men they're getting ready to come against you also man you know 23 and 49 the next chapter 23 and 49 the last verse 
and they shall recompense your lewdness, right, unto you. So you're gonna get paid back for all these plans when you go into lewdness. It's uh, a plan or device, wickedness, an evil, mischief, purpose, right? So your purpose for bringing Baphomet, whatever demonic uh, 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 you brought it in here, whatever prayers you probably prayed in that building behind you, they will not work, man. The Lord is gonna shut it down, he's gonna confound you, and he's gonna pay you back, man, for all those evil plans that you devised, man. Uh, upon, uh, upon you, and ye shall bear the sins of your idols, man. You're going to bear the sins of those idols, man. So the Lord is going to destroy you, man. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, your how thy power, man. As the scripture said, Michael, when you lay up on your bed, you dream, you basically think and dream of, a dream of this, man. Just like Jay, uh, uh, Ray, Raper, man. You sit on your bed and dream of put passing a law to bring Baphomet here in 2015, man. And they, they, they brought it here and set it up in 18. And then, they, who knows, they probably they probably gonna figure, is that the right place? They probably gonna bring it back and, and set it up permanently, man. And if they do, Lord willing, I come back and do another video if they set it up permanently, permanently right here, man. You know, but you will be destroyed, man. Let me go back in Leviticus 26 and 30. Leviticus 26 and 30. I will destroy your high places and cut down your images and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols, man. And my soul shall abhor you, man. So the Lord telling you he hates you for that, man. And we hate you for it. Because we coming in, we coming in in, 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 in the uh, name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. We are one with him. And we hate it too, man. We detest that this, these idols being put up, man. We detest the whole system, man, the whole Roman system, man. You know? Uh, and we know, according to Revelation 9, you you, you at least who get out of it, you're not going to repent of none of your sorceries, man, none of the murders you've done, none of the thefts, man. It tells you that in, in Revelation, the ninth chapter, the 20th verse, you're not going to repent for none of these evils that you've done, man. That's why when we bind you and put you in them chains, man, the scripture tells you in Revelation 18, man, pay them back double, man. So all the atrocities we went through, you're going to get paid back double, man. Like I said, I don't know how y'all going to fucking get through it, but we're going to be beating y'all down, man. We're going to pay you back, man. And Lord willing, man, I'm one of them men that, that be able to put you in chains along with all the other prophets that are on the highways and byways giving their life for this, man. You know? First John. First John 5. First John 5 and 21. And I'm out. It says, Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. And with that, all praise be to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, man. GMS Arkansas, man, just stop and listen. Death to America, man.